Before you become what you'll be, you start as who you are. The legend continues. Timberland Legends Club. Exclusive drops every month, only at Foot Locker. Before there was rap, there was jazz. My father played the trumpet, so for me, that's where my journey started. I'd be on the block. People would come from all over the neighborhood to watch me play. It was there I learned music was universal. That it was all just a different degree of the same thing. Notes and melodies and beats and bars that could get up inside people, make them move and groove and dance and sway. That feeling of those ears, listening to the sounds I could make with only my body and my mind, that made me who I became. The legend continues with volume seven. Coming up, I was ambitious enough to want to change the whole vocabulary of hip hop. I wanted my rhymes to be on another level, to take things to a new lyrical plateau. By ninth grade, I was out of school, but my thirst for knowledge was crazy. I'd read the dictionary cover to cover and quench my mind with words that told new kinds of stories and painted new kinds of pictures. Filling my head with those words, letting them marinate inside it, twisting and rhyming and transforming into thoughts and ideas no one on my block ever heard before. That made me who I became. The legend continues with volume eight. Queensbridge, August 86, my first rap battle. It was so hot out, it was like the street could catch fire if the sun looked at it wrong. I was young, hot-headed, a know-nothing, but I knew I wanted to rule the world. My opponent was an older girl from around the way. Her rhymes were incendiary. She spit pure fire. She brought that summer heat down on me, and I lost bad. Sometimes it takes a good fall to know where you stand. That's what made me who I became. The legend continues with volume nine. I was 17 when I first made it inside a real recording studio. At the time, one of the hottest up and coming producers in the game was recording in Queens. When his guys weren't in the booth, they let me record my demos on their studio time. I remember overhearing him saying, this kid from Queensbridge is pretty dope. And he gave me a shot on a new track they was recording. I spit one verse, just 16 bars. And y'all know the rest. Being the right guy with the right rhymes in the right place at the right time. That made me who I became. The legend continues with volume 10. <laughs> 